It's time for Tailgate Talk with Rodney Washington for the best football insight to get you right. Brought to you by Jimmy's Hot Dogs. Hello, my fellow Tailgate Talkers. Welcome to week eight of Tailgate Talk presented by Jimmy Hot Dogs. And I'm here in Douglas at the home of Coffee County. And to everybody in the Douglas and any area affected by the hurricanes, my heart goes out to you. And I appreciate you, Coach Cole, for yes, giving me such short notice. Yes, sir. Appreciate you coming. All right, Coach. So, um, the first, normally I ask, like, how does this be a big game of the week? But I want to focus on the hurricane. Right. Course. So, uh, have you, the team, and the family been – have y'all been – holding up no it's a hurricane well you know so we we dispersed last week and we knew the hurricane was coming and and uh you know you worry about your kids because you've got you got some kids that'll that'll be just fine that leave town you got some kids that live in 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 mobile homes and trailers and and honestly you know there hadn't been a big hurricane like this come through you know there's had some storms in the past but but nothing like this and and my wife and and my girls we're actually sleeping in my office we got a bunch of pine trees in our yard and about two o'clock uh, uh, Wednesday night or Thursday night, whatever night that was, you know, the ceiling started rattling, started moving, and, and started getting worried. You know, I grew up in Florida, been through plenty of hurricanes, and never really been worried or scared or anything like that. But other night, you know, you're holding your babies tight because you don't know what's coming, and then you wake up the next morning, and my goodness, there's like eight entrances at school, and I couldn't get out of any of them. There were trees down blocking it, lines. And we live four or five miles down the road, and it probably took us seven or eight hours to get to our house. And my neighbor behind me had texted me and said, Coach, you know, it's, it's pretty bad. You've got trees on your house and everything else. And so we turned the corner, and, and my girls were in the back seat of my truck, and they saw that the, a tree had went through their room, you know. And so it devastated them. And But it's like I told them, hey, we're alive and breathing. What we're not going to do is is whine and pout, and, and uh, there's, there's other people that – have it worse than us because our whole, our whole neighborhood was like a bomb got dropped in it and uh, so we we went and got some rakes and wheelbarrows and, and uh, I, you know we filed our insurance claim and I went to check in on coaches and kids and it, that was the difficult part because you know so a phone service was in and out and you got some kids texting you back and they're asking hey have you checked on Chris have you checked on KJ have you heard from Smitty and you know and no have you and if you do text me back, mate, let me know he's okay. And, and uh, that was the hardest part, right. was not knowing who was good and who wasn't. And, and eventually we got around to where I could post on Facebook and I asked our parents to check in with me and, and make sure they were okay and our kids. And, and uh, man, it's just been an ordeal, but, but this place is tough. It's a blue collar town. Uh, people care about each other and they really care about our young people in this town. And, and uh, you know, all they knew, all they know, is to go back to work and, and and get after it, and that's what they've done. And man, like uptown, already looks different. Lights are on, gas stations are open, restaurants are open, and you know, to our leadership uptown, you know, my hats go off to them because they've been working around the clock, and all these linemen coming in here, and and uh, with what our country's going through right now, and just the division, it's a beautiful thing to see. Right now, it don't matter Republican, Democrat, Black, White, whatever, none of that matters. We're human, we all bleed red, and we all need the same things. And, and uh, you know, right now, everybody's got some empathy for each other. And that's the way it should always be. It shouldn't take a hurricane to, right. to do that. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our town and, and, and what we're doing so far. Speaking of great games, somebody told me that this game reminds them of Alabama and Georgia, you know, right. a game that just went down. But do you see this as another week, or do you, you know, see the intensity of, you know, fellow undefeated? You know, you know, it sounds cliche, but we we really don't talk about who we're playing a lot. Now, we watch film and we study like crazy, and um, we scout and we do all that, but we really, really focus on us. and and our job and what we have to do. And, and uh, you know, our, our kids are really football smart. They're, they're not foolish. They know who we're playing. They know what we're up against and, and they have great respect uh, for, for Lee and, and, and what we're facing. And, and uh, you know, we've played a tough schedule so far, but I mean, it's, it don't get any easier. You got Houston and, and Thomas County Central. And I mean, you know, it's like the SEC region. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. It really matters at the end. It's kind of a war of attrition. I mean, there's a lot of things can happen the next five or six weeks. You know, knock on wood, nobody loses a kid to injury. But, I mean, all of us are one major injury away. I mean, we've played the last two games without Woogett. And, I mean, that's changed the dynamics of our offense. And so all of us are really one key injury away from, 
being a totally different football team. I'm really sorry. I mean, Amy, I thought I was going to interrupt, but you kind of in finished at that. But how has it changed, you know, without him? Well, I mean, just watching him, I mean, when he gets a crease, he's the guy we have that can take it to the house. You know, uh, he's the guy that can outrun you. He can turn an eight-yard run into an 80-yard run, and he was the leading rusher in 5A until he got hurt, and he's working his way back. He'll be back at practice tomorrow, full throttle. and, and uh, so he just gives you that home run hitter, uh, you know, and, and KJ DeBruce has stepped in and done a great job, and so has Tyrese Hansley. Uh, but Tank's speed is is on a uh, you know elite level, and, and he gives you that that guy that can take it to the house. Right on, coach. So what does Coffee Football have to do to get this dub, coach? Man, play mistake free, um, win third down, not turn the ball over, play with great eyes, eye discipline, tackle really well on defense not give up cheap stuff on um, special teams and defense and, and uh, st eliminate silly penalties and just focus on us. Right on, Coach. And, um, you know, it's uh, called tailgate talk, so I got to give you a tailgate question. So, okay. Um, what is um, your favorite tailgate you know, place you ever tailgate at? Give me a tailgate story. Oh, gracious. Probably the Rose Bowl, uh, Florida State and Auburn. Okay. Um, I had a young man that I coached at Madison County that was that was playing in the game, defense tackle, Jacoby McDaniel. So he got me a couple of tickets. So I flew out and uh, you know, you're on you're on a shuttle bus and you're in just a normal neighborhood, like a golf course deal, and then you come to the end of the road and it's like boom, there's these mountains in the Rose Bowl. You know what I mean? And and as a kid, I remember on ABC, four PM, New Year's Day. <laughs> The granddaddy of them all, Keith Jackson, announcing the Rose Bowl. And I'm like, I am at the Rose Bowl. And not only that, Magic Johnson's my favorite athlete of all okay, time. Okay, so okay. I fly out early, right? And I drive down and, and, and I'm at the Staples Center and I see the Magic, John, Magic statue and Kareem statue and Kobe's statue. And, you know, I'm a Lakers guy. Okay. So I flew out early for that purpose. So, you know, I stayed out by the airport, but I drove down. To, to the Staples Center and just got out and walked around and took pictures and actually met LaDainian Thomason uh, okay. while I was there. But um, probably that, probably the Rose Bowl and just um, hanging out with a couple buddies that I went to high school with that flew out there and just the, you know, the, it's the Rose Bowl and the National Championship. You know, and I'm a Florida State guy and to watch, it's watch my brother and mom team. You know what I mean? State. To watch Jameis lead them down there. I mean, that's pretty epic. You know, that was a, that was a bucket list moment. Brought to you by Jimmy's Hot Dogs.